Hi guys, welcome back to my new space, you guys. Um, so the other night I was playing with plaster and I babbled a lot about it, but I didn't show you. So this is my piece. This is my this is my first piece. So um, I painted it gold and I didn't like it. So then I painted it white and I didn't like it. So now I've painted it green and it's okay. Um, I'll show you my next one. I was gonna put you on hold. We'll turn around. Okay, so this is my second piece. This is the one that I actually did on the video. Um, I'm pretty happy with this piece. I have sprayed it kind of a buff beige. Um, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I, I was looking at a lot of textural pieces the other day and I thought, I am such a freak for clean lines that I spent a long time sanding every one of these little curves and edges. Um, and it kind of doesn't have that I don't know, just that free texture feel that a lot of pieces have, but then I don't know if I would be happy with jagged edges. So that's it. So my conundrum from tonight is do we putty first or paint or do we paint first? So I think we're gonna putty. So I'm gonna put you back on hold and I'll be right back. All right, we're back. So I'm gonna try this again on canvas. I have a whole bunch of different tools and a whole bunch of different thoughts, but I really don't know how to execute them. I mean, this is completely new to me. So it's super fun to just play around and that's what we're gonna do. So essentially, do not take this as a tutorial, guys, because I do not know what I am doing. But we're gonna put some mud down. So this is the drywall mud. I did my plaster of Paris today. Um, I'm not really sure how that's all going to work because again, it's pretty free and I don't like squiggly, messy lines. All right. So we're going to start with that amount. Cap our jar because I have found out that this stuff dries crazy, crazy fast. Crazy fast. All right. I'm going to start the same way I did the other night. Again, I have no experience and I'm just going to spread this out. Um, I was happy with my thickness on the white piece that I showed you. And I think I'm going to try sort of to get the same, same thickness happening. I forgot to grab a spray bottle. I did read a little thing about spraying water and keeping everything really even helps in the drying process so neither one of my pieces cracked oh that's fun maybe we'll just leave that neither piece of cracked so I have to be doing something correctly I guess sorry guys slipping around here Just like icing a cake. But considering I didn't take cake decorating in school, it's a bit of a challenge. So my hardwood surface of the green piece was much easier to work on than canvas. It really, really that nice rigid surface is much nicer. Let's fill that hole in. Okay, let's try to keep this chunky bit. I say that now, but I can almost guarantee I will not keep it in the end. All right. I'd like to see this a little bit smoother. Okay, let's do this. Let's add some texture onto this, you guys. Where's my 
bucket. All right. So here I am totally lost. So this is my comb thing. Comb, not a comb thing, it's a comb. There's our first swoopy bit. So when I tried to paint my first one, the green one, I quickly realized that I don't like them painted. I've seen people paint them and paint all the lines and I think I like them uh, and I don't. When I do it, I don't like it. I'm not a painter. I'm more into the kind of fluid drips and drops and splashes and splatters. And so it was really, really, messy for me and not clean crispy lines and not things that I am really happy with so that's not going to work for me okay my next texturing thing is a rusty pot scrubber like a really rusty pot scrubber because I left it in the water so we're just going to do some dabbing and just add some more texture so I will prime this all and paint it so it won't uh, you won't see all the rust spots I hope so there's tons of things when I was playing I was playing this morning with this there's tons of things that you can use in your house to create texture without even walking to the store to buy anything. There's just so many different options. I kind of ran around this morning and collected a bunch of things that I had, like pot scrubbers and uh, kitchen mallet. All, all will create interesting textures. It's really just kind of what you make of it. All right, here's my next weird endeavor, guys. Uh, drywall mud in a piping piping bag, which is a Ziploc bag for this project. But again, I if you were into cake decorating, you would be really good at this. I hate this, which I don't like that at all. I can just scrape it off. All right, well, I don't like this already. So that has to go. Okay, that works for yet another texture. So my last piece, I sanded all these edges. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to, but that is what I did. All right, let's use a finer line. I'll come in that way. So I'm just looking really for just texture. That's all I'm doing, you guys. Any possible thing I had in the house. Okay, wooden meat mallet. This is but my granddaughter Thor bangs around on my kitchen floor. interesting too. I guess 
I never really know until I go to paint it whether I'm happy with it or not, but it's interesting. So let's put one circle, half circle. So we're going to start here. Same thing, the jagged tooth, sawtooth comb, I think it's called. Put one there. Turn you guys around. Let me turn you back around. I don't know. What do you think? I think we need to add some more, more texture. I really like negative space too, as you guys all know. I don't like this edge already. So let's let's add half a circle, quarter of a circle. All right, you guys, I am going to put you on hold for two seconds and go, well, I might not need to. I was going to say I'm going to go find a straw. Or we have our fancy modifying tool. Changes that a little bit, doesn't it? See me already? I'm fussing because that line isn't crispy. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's bad. Bad, bad, you guys. So my drywall mud feels a little wet tonight compared to yesterday, and I'm not sure if it's just the temperature in the house. It's quite hot today. I'm sure that environmental factors probably pay a role as well, play a role as well. Just like acrylic if it's too hot. Okay, let's try, let's try making some dots or circles or something and see how that goes. Worst case scenario, we scrape it all off and start again. So let's, uh, well, let's try it and see how successful this is. Hmm. They look like white Hershey's Kisses. That one's not very good.
My daughter would be good at this. My daughter took cake decorating in high school. Made all those fancy little roses and doodaddy things. Oh yeah, wouldn't you know it, you guys. I smooshed the one right smack in the middle. <laughs> okay, well, I don't know what to do with that now. Hey, let's get our let's get our favorite makeup brush going on and let's just texture that a little bit because I don't really like those. Uh cheapy makeup brush. I use this for everything. I just painted all the knobs on the bedroom dresser with this brush. Everybody has their own tool that is the right tool for them. There's no right or wrong. Well, I guess there is. Okay, I don't like that, you guys. Let's get rid of that. I think with the plaster of Paris that because the set time is quicker, I think that making all these little lines and marks in some aspects would be easier because they'll dry faster. The drywall mud takes quite a long time and so it gives me a longer open time, but it's also a lot wetter, I think. Okay, you guys. Okay, let's make some let's make some little straw marks. If I had a bigger straw, this would be better. This is just a tiny straw. But I did this on my white piece that's over on the wall, and it's hard to see, but again, it just adds interesting just different textures. That's all we're going for is just a texture. And then I will probably paint this one Maybe a terracotta color. I'm not really sure yet. That's kind of going for like an earthy collection. These are all going in my my new painting space where we are right now. All right, Cindy, just leave it alone. Oh, but you can't. Okay, I'm not doing this any justice. Let's just do some smooshing. Let's smoosh and turn as we go. All right, well, we fixed that boo-boo, didn't we? Oh my goodness, what a ditz. Okay, you guys, I might just leave this negative space and we might just call this done. Um, it does take about, not that long actually, maybe maybe 8 to 12 hours to dry. 
Uh, the one I did yesterday morning, I sanded this afternoon just after lunch. It sanded really, really super easy. And it kind of gave me a little bit of opportunity to add. I didn't really add much, but I kind of widened a few lines and just kind of changed it a little bit. All right, I'm going to... I'm going to probably bore you guys all with this newfound art experience that I'm having. All right, I'm going to bring you guys down. I'm going to put you on hold and bring you down, and we'll just have a quick peek. Okay, so we're back. So now you guys hopefully can see all these cool textures. Um, yeah, it'll be fun. It'll be fun to see what happens when it dries. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I love this. I like this some on, some off stuff. All right, that's what it looks like from above though i just about fell into <laughs> i almost fell off the stool you guys and into my picture all right my friends take care um uh, poor putty knit so do whatever it is you do happy be happy guys be creative have fun with that thanks for watching i'll talk to everybody really really soon bye guys Well, I don't want it doesn't want to shut off for heaven's sake.